and you know you have done better things than that. So, so stop the lying, boy. It's not <laughs> okay. lying. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing? Good. How, How you doing? doing? Good. Good. Um, congratulations on this movie. I went back and I, you know, read some of the history of the making of it, and I watched some of Summer of Seventeen as well. And this just kind of feels like the Big Brother to that, you know, short series. What was it like, kind of reuniting now to do a feature film? Felt natural. Felt super natural. Yeah, it was like, uh, I mean, when we were doing the shorts, that was that was just like a, a break from skating. Instead, we weren't skating one day, and we focused on making it short. And this was just a, a a longer version of that, and like felt super straightforward and natural. It went it went by pretty quick, honestly. Yeah, so I go. It was the next uh, natural step mm-hmm. to make a a full length movie, and that's what Mikey wants to do. And we're all friends, so we're all in it. The progression of, of Mikey as a director now, obviously he's been directing, you know, skate videos and documentaries and all of that. Um, now he's doing his first feature. You all have also done more acting since those short films. So what was it just like seeing the evolution of yourselves as actors and, and directors on this set? I think for Mikey, if, I, if I'm speaking, even even all of us, like if I, I think if we, if I go back and you know, I think, you know, I think all of us can speak for this. Hey, I'm speaking for you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have my own opinion. Thank you. <laughs> I think if we all go look at like like the summer seventeens and even like the little skits that Mikey used to put in like the old videos, like the super old videos, the way he films is different, the way he thinks is different, the way we look is different, the way we act is different. Like it's just like every I feel like I think it all changes. I think acting has honestly just changed all of us as a person, especially me at least, because I like when I look at a movie now, I don't look at the movie for like, just like let the movie play. I'd be like, oh, I, that was probably a super hard scene to film. And I don't know, it's just like, it made me respect all actors like a whole bunch more. So that's that was what it was for me. I, Mikey's ch- uh, style has changed a bunch, you know? He would do little skits before one of the skate videos he'd put out. Um, he, like even Summer 17 stuff, the little shorts. Um, to this now. Also the cinematographer Ayende was incredible. Um but it, he it, you could see you can see the growth over time and like the vision of Mikey growing. It's like pretty cool to see. Like it, it changes drastically, mm-hmm. but he has like he has a pretty straightforward vision the the whole time. Working with him is that what piqued all of your interests in continuing to act? Um, Because I know you all are obviously skateboarders and you've done some acting things here and there, but now you're kind of really taking off all of you with your acting careers. Did the doing this movie or even those shorts really fuel that or was it something you already had the desire to do before all that? No, no. I mean, I think I, I, I wanted, man, I like went through so much. I think I wanted to be like a DJ. I wanted to be a male (laughs) stripper. I wanted to be a, a like a rapper. I went through a bunch of different things I wanted to be, and then, and then, doing like acting stuff with Mikey had a uh, like had it just kind of came naturally and um, kind of just stuck with it. But it was never really something for me, at least, that I was like, oh, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Uh, it was just something on the side that we would do with Mikey because. Mikey's our bro, and we we would help him out. We would just help him out, and now it seems like our career path <laughs> just took a, a left turn. <laughs> <laughs> just straight left turn. But it's all working out. <laughs> kind of nutty. It, it, I mean, it, it, it's, it is crazy, because, like, I, same thing. I didn't I, – I never really thought about that. I thought about maybe my dad does, like, stunt work for movies, and I was like – kind of grew up like jumping off stuff onto like pads and i was like maybe that's what i do you know and then once mike started making shorts he was like oh you want to be in it oh we you want to be in this one okay let's make we're gonna make this one and then now you know i have this apartment that i live in i'm uh, i live in la and that's all because of mikey and watching the evolution of skateboarding movies just in the past few years they've kind of really made a comeback and when I was growing up they were very you know kitschy and and cheesy and now we have 
that feels very authentic, especially with the way that you talk, but also with the way that, you know, the skating is portrayed. What's it been like to see that growth in, you know, skate culture in movies and how it's perceived through the public eye, people that maybe don't know anything about skateboarding? I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you handle that, Ryder. You done? <laughs> um i think i mean it's it's cool it's it's kind of like as much as skateboarding has grown and now skateboarding is in the olympics the next olympics is going to be the first year that skateboarding's in it and it's like we should be able to make a movie about skateboarding that isn't like cringy like yo shred the gnar like let's go hit the freaking let's go hit the park kind of you know that corny hey Ryder, you, you you timed out for a sec can you say that again uh, no i can't because i don't remember what i said <clears throat> i don't recall um but it, it's just i think i don't know i'm happy to see especially with north hollywood just see skating portrayed in a way that isn't like corny or it's because it's told and acted and directed by skaters so there's no i mean there's no real room for like that kind of stuff you know what i mean it's where it's like i don't know i'm happy there's no room, I'm happy for, error. There's no room for error because this is what we do this is what we were grown up grew up doing so i think, it's just, I think it's, this one just honestly just played out perfectly like because i think mikey always had like a dream to like make movies or something always had it since he was a kid like in like middle school and then like for him to love skateboarding too i feel like and music just made everything just come together so well and i don't think that would like could be duplicated again i don't know and like i, I don't know how it could happen but i don't believe it could and i don't even want to label this as a skateboarding movie because I, I am familiar with skateboarding i know stuff but like even if i didn't watching this i i relate to it on you know to michael's story and that I wouldn't be sitting here interviewing you guys if my parents had their way. I'd be like behind a desk being an accountant or something, which, you know, isn't a bad thing, but that wasn't what my dream was. So what was the biggest kind of, you know, obstacle or hurdle you guys had to get through, if that even, you know, existed when you decided you wanted to skateboard or, or be an actor? Well, uh, well for me, I, that's cause I, I'm from Compton. So I, I, the only thing that I could say that it, like the, it relates to that is just like, when like the the kids were playing basketball and doing all that stuff, I was the the black kid skating. So, but look at me now, though. They they ain't make it to the NBA. <laughs> like so, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, also I feel like skating skating wasn't as cool back like back then. Like you were kind of, you were a little weird for skating or yeah, it That's definitely good. was more of an outsider thing. And now it's like you know, with like once I got to like later my high school like senior year junior year. There was that that's when skating started like i saw it becoming like a thing where kids would come to school with a skateboard i'd be like i have never seen you at the skate park why exactly. are you carrying around a board like then it became kind of like a cool thing and then uh it's just i don't i don't know and skateboarding, skateboarding became this really like cool thing that a lot of people want to do now um which you know cool just, just, cool do your, do your thing absolutely um but like what attracted me, what attracted me in the beginning to skating was like that, like I went to a private school when I was a, a grom and like all the kids were playing like lacrosse and, and everything. And then like, I was, I was like the moms and dads didn't want me hanging out with their kids because I was like the outsider. And then skating was like an outcast thing to do or something back then or like kind of like the, the like rebel misfit Rep, reputation and then that's what like attracted me to it and then i met like a really solid community of people through it that like are like my people to this day you know and uh i think it was like getting over getting over like what 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 could have been what path you could have been on compared to where skating all led us i think skateboarding for sure saved my life it's for real well so. Shout out to that. I grew up kind of just cruising around because I had no idea how you even would learn to do stuff. It wasn't like we had YouTube back when I was growing up to to figure out tricks and stuff. But with this pandemic, I feel like so many people, you know, I'm in my 30s, you know, we've kind of gotten back into being like curious about 
learning tricks and whatever. And, you know, I kind of landed a first baby Ollie the other day and I felt like it was like the biggest thing in the world. But you guys, like what has been your biggest accomplishment skateboarding? Like that trick that you just tried so hard to nail for so long, but when you got it, it was just like winning an Oscar or something to each of you. Oh, I mean, the end of this, the, end, the end trick in this movie that I had to do probably is the, I mean, just a lot of pressure and I think that's probably the coolest thing I've done. And it's on like a, you know, a movie camera, <laughs> like has filming sure. on a Ryder, movie camera. I, Ryder is most definitely lying. Ryder has clips when he was young grinding. Uh, yeah, when I was like 15. So it's been, it's no, been when, when I didn't care a about more limber like, and <laughs> Yeah, when I didn't care, when I didn't give a shit about breaking my leg, <laughs> now it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to jump down that. <laughs> like that's i could get hurt pretty bad so definitely doing that last uh trick at the school was like uh, i mean that was cool to me I, maybe it wasn't cool to aramis but i uh, i mean it meant I'm a not lot saying it me. wasn't cool i just said that uh, i think you've cool. done better things than that and you know you have done better things than that so so stop the lying boy it's not <laughs> right. uh, doing switch tray flips like it's still like a trick that that I I can do, but I'm I, it's like a trick that I'm never always that good at, but I can do it. And when I do them, I'm like, I I'm so happy that I could do that trick. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say specifically like me doing like once it's just that trick. That shit is so off and on for me. I'm just like when I do do it, I'm happy as hell. Like I love that trick. Which flips? I, I would say like I would say like going going fast like down a hill or something. You know, like making it past making it past like the stop sign and making it on the other side of the street without you know av avoiding getting hit by any cars or anything or, or just anything like that it's a crazy feeling so say anytime i'm really going like fast as fuck is when i'm just like yeah that's a solid feeling <laughs> i saw you going under some semis i'm like no thank you <laughs> uh, last thing what do you want to say to get people to go watch this movie because this really has been a grassroots campaign and you know, Illegal Civ and you guys have such amazing fans that I have seen how thirsty they are for this movie and how much they want to see it. Uh, what would you say to them? By any means necessary and not just to the IC fans, but just anybody. If you don't think about this movie as a skateboarding movie, because it's it, it can, it, like a lot of scenes in that movie would make you relate to it. So if that's what like turns you off, don't let that like don't let that happen. Just go watch the movie. I promise you it won't let you down. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a coming of a coming of age tale that and just happens to star a bunch of skaters, and I think uh, I think a lot of people enjoy it and relate to it. And uh, why not? Go Dude, watch come a on. movie, you know? Dude, it's, why not, you brother? Doing? Why not? Popcorn, man. Shot. Lay down, enjoy a movie. It's new. I think. And I I think that I think North Hollywood like brings you through every. I always thought of good movies as like bringing you through all your emotions, whether it's happy, sad, mad. And I think that movie would like do that all three of those like to you. So you should go. Yeah.